here we're in the, another part of the lab. This particular part of the lab is where we have our tadpole rearing, and also we have several more tanks that are specifically for glass frogs. Um, a large part of the concentration of my work is specifically with glass frogs. That's originally why I came to Costa Rica 12 years ago. And part of the reason why we also bought the reserve here is an area with a very high diversity of glass frog species. We have eight species of glass frogs native to this region. So we can look over here, you can see some of these different tanks, these glass, you can see the glass frog tadpoles. Um, glass frogs have a very elongated, slender body, um, which is, again, it's for an adaptation to their habitat, which they breed and they live in the, in the, the bottom of the substrates of streams. They bury into the gravel and stuff and into the rocks. You can see several other tadpoles here. Each one of these aquariums uh, represent different groups of eggs. Uh, mainly right now in the lab we're working mainly with just two species, Hyalina matrachium valeroi and Hyalina matrachium fleishmani. Um, so again, these are you know, over here on this side, two more, more tadpoles up between those two species. We have of our three different breeding groups of them. Um, And we're feeding, we're feeding them for a diet, and then we're feeding them uh, different types of high-quality flake foods, which we put in the bottom, and they, and they eat those up. Here's some different high, these are different dendrobatids. These are some erotic.